All right, welcome everyone. Thanks for tuning back in. Uh, Glock 43 today. It's a 9mm. It's their single stack 9 that they come out with pretty recently. If you see my video of the Glock 42, this is just kind of, I guess you could call it the big brother, so to speak. But anyway, we're going to get right into it. I don't have a lot of ammo. I never have enough ammo. But anyway, I have uh, about three quarters of a box. That's it. So I'm going to get into shooting it, and then there's going to be some side shots. Also, I have to remember to keep talking into the camera because my microphone, uh, it needs a battery or something. I couldn't make it work. It's, it's cheap. So uh, let's get into it. Let's shoot it, and then I'll kind of talk about it. I'll give you a size comparison between it and the Glock 23, which is not really a similar weapon, but it'll give you an idea of the differences in size. All right, man, it's a, I love shooting these Glocks. I love that Glock trigger. It's really nice. Let's keep going. I have three magazines and uh, let's keep knocking. I flew that last one way high. I noticed I have a tendency to shoot this gun slightly high. It's a little high for me. But it uh, could be my eyes or it could, uh, could be the sights. But let's keep going. I have, do I have another one? Yeah, I have one more. And after I, uh, after I shoot this mag, we'll take a break and I'll bring out the Glock 23, the 40 Smith & Wesson. It's a mid-size 40. We'll compare sizes. Yeah, I really like it. I mean, I don't know what else to say about it. It's a Glock. I'm kind of, I've, I've done this channel long enough now where I, I've fired several different weapons, not near as many as I'd like, but uh, I'm really enjoying these Glocks. These Glocks are, uh, they're, they're fun to shoot. The, the, the trigger's nice in them. I don't know, people talk about Glock triggers. They don't like trigger. They do trigger work. They put different triggers in them. I don't understand it. Feature their own. Okay, so I wanted to give you a little, little size comparison of these two weapons. This is Glock 43 single stack 9mm. This is a Glock 23 double stack mid size frame uh, 40 Smith & Wesson. So in my hand, you can see, I'm going to do this quickly. For you guys, I mean, once you've seen one of these, you understand what, what you're dealing with here. It indexes nice for me. So this weapon is clear for you clear Nazis. Okay, and here's this. It cuts left-handed. I get it. It's different, but I don't stick them in my pocket. I have a bunch of junk in my pocket. The uh, the Glock 43 has a magazine, and they they're all this way. Where it allows you to put your pinky finger down. It's not. It's nice for those that like to have that extra security. I know my father. We talk about this. I don't really care. Uh, I like uh, I like the size. I, I didn't mind the size of the Glock 42. This is just a little bit, little bit extra, a little bit more, a little more meat for guys who want something bigger. Carrying this, uh, I recently lost 55 pounds, give or take. So, and I used to have, you know, with, with love handles, it's real easy to carry uh, with baby ways, like I like to tell my wife. With, with that, it's easy to carry these, these the mid-sized Glocks, no problem. Now, it's not so easy because the the, uh, the 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 frame kind of wants to stick out. I'm not sure if you can see me, but. Yeah, it, it, uh, it sticks out. Now this, I, I put this in the same holster. We may do that. Actually, I will do that. I'm going to shoot this magazine. My boy's going to shoot it for you. And uh, we'll do an inside the waistband test. See which one conceals the best. So let me go put this gun up. Ah, yeah. So I'll bring along help and he makes fun of me for stuttering. <laughs> anyway, it's live television. Well, sort of. All right, so six more rounds. I pulled all those low. That's fine. I just want to shoot the rounds. Now let's uh, let's let him shoot it. I'll put a new mag in, and then we'll go from there. No safety. No, it's just uh, pull the trigger. You gotta you gotta link this load one. You, know, you gotta put a yeah. shot one in. Go ahead and do that. There you go. 
Now you're hot. Go. There you go. There you go. You go. It was the last two or three. Yeah. Was I shooting low or high? I couldn't tell. Uh, I don't know. I was watching you. Is it clear? Yeah, it's clear. Okay, so I want to do a little inside the waistband demonstration. Now, granted, this shirt is really thin, really light material. You can almost kind of kind of see through a little bit. But this is a yeah, Glock 23, 40 Smith and Wesson, and uh, yeah, it's 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 clearly visible in this in this shirt. And if you weren't looking for it, maybe not. But this is sticking out right here, and I don't have anything anymore to hide this. So, I mean, you you're gonna see it if you have a shirt that's this thin and it's a little bit more fitting. All right, so let's do the uh, let's do the Glock 43. Okay, yeah, I mean, it's, it's clear, you know, that this, this weapon is going to disappear a little bit more. And, you know, you're not normally going to pick a shirt like this to conceal carry a weapon. But uh, for, for, for guys that are interested in that, if you're a skinny guy, you know, I'm, a, I'm six foot and 165 right now. So, very concealable with the proper attire, Glock 43. Okay, one quick thing to note. Uh, Chase had a good point just a second ago. Uh, a good thing to note is... You know, I went down to a smaller weapon. When you have a smaller weapon, you have smaller handles, smaller frames, smaller things to get a hold of. So, while I may be able to conceal this weapon easier, it's also going to be harder to, to grab. That's just the nature of it. So, we're going to put that to the test. You know, not necessarily is it going to be as easy to draw because the, you know the grip and everything is is more concealed. It's it's a uh, smaller it's smaller in the hand. It's a smaller weapon. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to work around this tripod, and I'm just going to pull up, and I'm going to shoot two rounds, but uh, in order to do that, i got to make it hot. All right. So anytime that you're uh, in, in a, you know, a situation where you need to defend yourself, you know, your clothing can be in hindrance. Your clothing can be uh, in the way of defending yourself. Do you have your ears in? Okay. I'm just going to pull up, and I'm going to try to shoot myself in the leg, but if I do, I guess it'll make for entertaining video. And I want to just kind of shoot in the direction of the target. I don't expect to hit it. But this is a small weapon, uh, well concealed with normal attire, into a 14 inch flank stick. Okay, and I am not an expert. If I had been, those would have hit the target. But keep in mind, I'm not at self defense distance, I'm at 45 feet. Self-defense distance is 21 feet, give or take, if you take the class. But uh, you need to be able to draw your weapon, you need to be able to find it, and you need to be able to get rid of it in a second, you know, if you, to save your life. So practice practice with empty weapons, practice with everything that you use if you expect to be proficient. And uh, that draw would have been around a second or less, you know. Like I said, I'm not a professional, but I've done this enough to know that, uh, that you need to practice. So thanks for watching. I hope you can take something from this really nice weapon, Glock 43. I uh, enjoy it. And uh, get out and go shoot your stuff, guys. I pulled that last one way high. There you go. There you go. You got it with the last two or three. Yeah. Was I shooting low or high? I couldn't tell. Uh, I don't know. I was watching you. Is it clear? Yeah, it's clear.